Hello and welcome to the Enjirati Studio at European Utility Week 2016. My name is Ade and I'm joined with Joao Torres, CEO of EDP. How are you doing, Joao? Fine. <laughs> it's a good day. Very Here good with day. a lot of friends and a lot of innovation. It's a nice event to, to be today. Okay, um, you've just come out of the conference rooms. Um, you gave a presentation on the energy on the energy revolution, and the time is now to act. Um, would you mind just, in a nutshell, just giving us the top level key takeaways from the message you were giving to the audience? <coughs> yes, when I when I told to a friend that my my presentation will be the time is now, he said, but the time is always now. But in fact. Uh, I'm in, this, in the industry for 35 years and I'm in this position, distribution business for 10 years. So you can imagine how, what I, I, I can see when I look for these 10 years. That's why when I look to the challenges, when I look to the, the work we have done as DSLs and all the community, but especially speaking about DSLs, uh, I think we, we are now in a patamar of technology, of mobilization, of design of the market. We are waiting for the winter, uh, the people, the competencies, and uh, this event is a mirror of what's happening in, in the sector. And I think we, we are now in conditions to move for uh, the next step and look to all this uh, complexity but uh, that and try to put it on field. When we speak about smart grids and all the, the new challenges we have, I think we are ready to move and give the DSOs a role in a way we can be the platform for the new time, for the revolution that was referred in this, this uh, morning, during all this morning in the conference. It's quite interesting you mentioned that this changing ecosystem, the energy system is changing for the time, we've never actually been in a better time than now to actually act. Um, so what, is this, what does this change mean for the function of the traditional utility? How does the, the traditional utility change? Does it even need to change? What are we <coughs> looking at here? Yes, when it used to be uh, with the... Um, very stable on the on the offer on the generation and quite stable on demand so then the last 20 years the uh, production the generation changed a lot with renewables and we keep quiet on the demand side and now we are looking for demand side and the air is medium voltage and low voltage and the customer and we need to manage it because it's there the complexity is rising and for that we need not just technology we need to organize we need to include the new actors that are coming to the sector like the aggregators like someone that just want to sell storage or someone that is a supplier or the prosumer, and now there's a, a new word, I don't remember, prosumer with storage. So, and we can't stop it. The only way is to manage it because it, this is a new attitude from the, 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 the final uh, consumer. He wants to be more active and we need to organize the companies in a way to achieve that. It's not, as I refer, just a change of technology. We need to change our mindset. We need to change the competencies we have, not to, to forget the old or more traditional. We, are, we always need to work on quality of service and we need that our assets are able to do it. But now they are sensed with much more sensors. We can do it better. On the other side, we need more analytics, mathematicians, uh, customer-centric uh, focus uh, employees. It's a big 
it's not just a big change on the sector, it's also a big change inside utilities. And I believe that we can do it. We are in some way traditional companies, but we are doing very well the transition. That's what I refer this morning with some, I tried to, to say that, that we are ready for it. it it's, it's very good, it, well, it's quite refreshing to hear that you paint a, a positive picture here. I mean, there, is, there are some messages that are slightly more negative, but you're saying, you know, there is a problem, but we can act if we want to act. Um, one of the interesting things you pointed out was that changing face of the distribution operator with active participation from the consumers on the edge. Um, perhaps you could share some thoughts on the DNA of the future distribution operator, you know, that perhaps rewards active participation or maybe even is interoperable with transactive energy systems. What do you think about these themes? Well, <clears throat> there is no just a solution. This, what I know is the complexity is rising and um, we need to be prepared for it. The, the great change in the last few years is the, the way we collect information and we manage the data. And the way we can serve the customers in a way you can understand how, is, how, can, how we can manage the electricity bill. And on the other side, there is some, some way revolutionary solutions like peer-to-peer -peer or something like that. Uh, we must not deny that it can be part of the, the, the whole picture. And at the end of the day, we need to keep the lights on at a cost-effective uh, cost price of the electricity and a much more active role of the customers. So, I, I'm really optimistic about that, because when we organized the Edso for Smart Grids a few years ago, we are companies much more focused on wires, but in some way uh, ready for the change, and we work very hard for it. We can see in this event a lot of innovative solutions that are tested with the DSOs in our fields, in our grids, even solutions for the customers. We are working with a lot of suppliers, with a lot of manufacturers. And this good energy we have in the sector today, uh, it's important in a way that for instance, the Commission can design a winter package really advance it for these times. It's a pressure also for regulation, uh, but it's the only way we have. We can, we can stop, we can just look at it. Okay, I have one final question for you, really, and it's, it's around, you mentioned platforms and the ability. In fact, it's quite interesting, you said we, ha we have to guarantee the, the quality of service. That will never change, you know. So is that perhaps the, the real opportunity here for the distributor of tomorrow? The, if the energy system changes and there might be peer-to-peer -peer and there might be all this at the edge, you know, provided you pursue digitization uh, and digitization of the grid could perhaps, and, they, uh, and also the move to platforms, that could perhaps help with working in that space? Well, um, during the last 10 years, the, the, there is a big change on IT, OT, and communications. This is the main reasons why we are changing our technology uh, on place. And I believe with, with these new tools, we, we can manage the grid in a very fast, efficient, and uh, client-oriented way. And for that, we need to work with uh, some way uh, artificial intelli intelligence, 
and we just arrived for more smart grid, for smart grids. Is that what we are speaking about? In some way, a grid we have, where we have uh, installed our equipments and they can manage solutions like self-healing, solutions like to balance the, the micro-generation. And so, um, this is the big change. And we can see, even in this uh, event, there's a mix coming from IT, OT, telcos, and now smart cities, because uh, in the last two or three years, the mayors understand that they can build a smart city and smart, a smart grid is part of it and can be a, a major part of it. And at the end of the day, we need to cooperate with a much more organization than in the past. And this is important for the DSOs. We must be, must be more open to cooperate, to create alliances, and uh, to find the best solutions in a very open way. This is about the data management. We need to understand that the data must be available in the right way, thinking always about privacy and cybersecurity, but this must be available for each one that wants to be part of the change. And for that, we need also to change our attitude. But I think we are doing it. And if you want to remain in the center, or the second center, because in the center we have the customer. I, I present a slide this morning showing two centers. In some way, if you want to be there and to be the platform, we need to understand that in the first moment. And then everything will happen. I think that's a brilliant place to end the interview. So thank you, Joao. Thank you for your invitation. And I hope I can I, I be useful to, to share with you some of our ideas. I'm really optimist, but when I look for what we have done, I have just reasons to, to be optimist. Oh, and you heard it here first. If you'd like to hear more information about the future of distributors, the energy system, and perhaps even the, the uh, energy system of the future, feel free to check out our other interviews on the screen. Thank you.